body water volume can be regulated at two levels, the level of your blood pressure and of sodium content of the blood. A drop in blood pressure will be detected by the kidneys and in response, the kidneys release the enzyme renin. This enzyme activates the hormone angiotensin by converting it to angiotensin 1 in the blood. As angiotensin 1 travels to the lungs, it's there fully converted to the active form angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 has both short-term and long-term effects on the body. First, the body needs to get blood pressure back up. Angiotensin 1 quickly signals vasoconstriction, reducing the diameter of the vessels and getting blood pressure back up, even at a lower blood volume. Concurrently, angiotensin 2 signals the adrenal gland, located above the kidney, to secrete the hormone aldosterone. Aldosterone now signals the kidney to retain sodium and water so that it stays in the blood rather than being excreted. Blood volume resultingly goes up. In addition to this, hormone mediated system, as the volume or amount of water in our blood goes down, the amount of electrolytes like salt stay the same. Therefore, the concentration of sodium is going up while blood volume goes down. This increase is detected by osmoreceptors, nerve cells in your hypothalamus. These cells go on to signal the pituitary gland to release antidiuretic hormone. Like aldosterone, antidiuretic hormone signals the kidneys to retain water, removing it from the collecting ducts and tubules of the kidney. Urine that is excreted will be highly concentrated with solutes. While all this is happening, the increase in sodium concentration, along with reductions in blood volume and blood pressure, signal our brains that we're thirsty, and hopefully in response we drink, helping bringing back water volume to normal. Relying on thirst, however, to tell us that we are dehydrated is not completely reliable, especially in older adults. When we exercise and sweat, and when we're ill, we lose water faster than we're really detecting. In higher risk circumstances, and really every day, we simply need to make sure that we're getting enough water that we need through our food and our beverages on a regular basis.